Hey y'all, how's everyone doing? Well, I wanted to do a little, um, what are my current favorites video? Um, because I have so enjoyed, by the way, y'all got the cutest shirt from Stitch Fix today. Isn't this cute? And I got a little skirt. I need to do a, a Stitch Fix haul with y'all, don't I? I really have been enjoying it. I did just put it on hold for three months until April because I feel like until I clear my closet out of things that are either out of style or um, I'm not wearing them, I shouldn't be buying any more new clothes. Um, I don't need any more. Um, and so also I think as I get more back into eventually getting into the office more, my wardrobe will probably change back to being a little less casual, but it'll still probably be business casual. But anyway, I got this cutest little store bag from the store I was in up in, where was it? It should say, Original Mass Store in Val Cushis, North Carolina, but that's not where I got this one. This one was, was in Salem, Boone, North Carolina. Knoxville, Tennessee? No, I think I got this one in, was it? I don't remember. Anyways, so that's very helpful. Anyway, love the little bag. I love reusable bags like this. And I brought some things from my dressing area to show you my favorites. So let's get right to it. So before I do anything, after I've cleansed my face, which I did bring my favorite uh, cleanser, which is Lancome's. And it's their Comforting Milky Cream Cleanser for dry skin. And y'all, this is so good to get your makeup off, and it smells so wonderful. It's one of my favorite things that I use. It's getting low, so it's time to buy a new one, so I'm going to put this on the buy list. So that's that. Did you get to see that good? I always put things by my face so you can see the size. I think there's a, a smaller size of that, too. Sorry, I'm not picking my nose. I had an itch. All right, after that, um, I always, after I cleanse my face, I always get a nice, dishy, wet washcloth. And wipe it down to get even the cleanser off my face and just nothing but water and just clean skin then I have really been enjoying this y'all and I feel like I feel like it makes a difference when I put it on it's called Saturday skin avocado and date seed oil and this I put under my eyes and it says on here apply cream to the tip of the ring finger and dot in a C formation under the eye using tapping motions and for maximum absorption meaning you do like this I will be honest, I swipe it in. I just do it lightly. You never want to press hard on your skin except when you're exfoliating. And then I take a gushy wet washcloth, wring it out real good, and just scrub my face. That's what takes dead skin cells off, okay? You can use all the exfoliators you want, but that's just the old fashioned exfoliator my mama taught me. But anyway, I really do like this under my eyes. I do feel like it's helping. I have been sick with COVID, and then even the aftermath of it, I have felt very, very tired, and I there's some times where I've woken up, and I have big, po poochy uh, under-eye bags, and I think that has a lot to do with all the medications I'm taking to dry up this mucus. You can still hear it even when I'm talking, <clears throat> and I clear my throat more than I need to, or more, no, as much as I need to, but more than I should for the throat. I'm trying not to, but... um. Anyway, so it's drying me out, so I know it's drying my skin out. So this has been helpful under my eyes. So that's one thing I wanted to point out. Then, once I get my makeup going... Oh, there's one other product that I will tell you right now I'm going to buy more of. I'm going to buy more of that, so let's put that in the I'm going to buy more of stack. Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Depuff. And y'all, not only does this depuff, but it puts a... I don't know how to put it. It's not a shimmer. It's more like a glimmer. But it's not sparkly, it's just glimmery. So maybe I'll do a skincare regimen video for y'all. Comment below if you'd like that. But I really do like that. Again, that's from Origins, and I'm going to be doing that. Next is concealer. Um, I have really been loving this concealer a lot. And it's the uh, Concealer Duo from Mineral Fusion. And it's in Cool. There's a dog hair. It's cool. And on the bottom, let me open it so you don't see the reflection. It's peachy on the bottom and more white beige on the top. That is because the peach color you put right in the C, where you see that dark. Let me just show you. Do you see what that does? Can you see the dot? That is because that peach color covers blue and your, did I not put any on? I probably 
did. But anyway, it colors blue. And the more you can dot it on, the better, because you see, I uh, actually did have some on you, but now I've got to even it up. But do you see how dotting it on makes it stay better? Then I have to go from the outside in with the whiter color because I want it to brighten back this way. But I come in, go back out, and then I dot over that a little bit. And then I blend it down and out and up. And do you see how that brightened that? I hope it did. Hold on, let me run. Because I already have my makeup on, y'all, this is probably going to look weird. Again, I come down into it. And we're going to dot over that just a little just to bring some of the white in there. And then bring it down and out and up and it just brightens and you can bring it down into this area where we've got this big wrinkle here that's that's a structural weak wrinkle y'all it ain't going away any leftovers you can just put there okay so I'm absolutely loving that today was the first time I tried the liquid concealer and this again is in cool and this is um, is this Pacific no that's also mineral fusion so here's the cream I think I like the cream better Here's the liquid, but the one thing about the liquid is I was able to blend this into my whole face a little more, and it almost looked like light makeup. I do not have base on today, so I do like this. I would definitely get it again. Then, hands down, Park Avenue Princess from Tarte is my absolute favorite bronzer. It's very cool toned. There is no orange, really, to this. I mean, all bronzers have some orange, but to me, it's more brown. Almost an ashy brown, which helps. Um, and then, of course, blush, just hands down. Today, I did use the Pacifica palette, and it was just too orange, so I had to go over it with, this is my favorite blush of all time. It's number Z, uh, zero 02 Rose Bronze from Chanel. It is the most beautiful, it is exactly that, a rosy bronze color. Look at that. It's got a hint of bronze to it, but it's very, very rosy. Favorite blush. Um, <clears throat> okay. If I was going to use... Um, foundation, hands down, still love my Perfection Lumiere Velvet and 22 Base Rose. This is my favorite of all time. It is a matte coverage. So, when I want to use something a little less matte and more moist looking, I have been enjoying that It. Y'all saw me that I, I did the It Cosmetics um, foundation with moisturizer in it. So, I do like that one. When I want a more dewy look. I was always default to a matte look though. I know as you get older they say don't do that. Um, <clears throat> for lips, hands down, there is no second to this. It is my Chanel Soft Rose in color. Um, what's the number? I forgot what the number is. It's just Soft Rose. It doesn't have a number. It's got matte, um, the color on one end, lip gloss on the other. It sets it, moisturizes it, and makes it shiny. And there just is no substitute for this. I love it. I've tried everything. And I probably always will. But I always come back to this. This is my faithful. I use it when I put on my makeup in the morning and I keep one in my purse. And I do have other colors besides um, soft rose because this is almost like a bronzy rose. But I also do have a shocking pink for bright pinks for spring and summer. And I also have chic rosewood for more the color of my lips, which is a little more purpley. Um, so it's like, um, but it almost washes me out. So when I've got heavy eye makeup and I don't want to put a bright color on my lips, that's what I use. Y'all know I always use baby eye makeup. Hands down, the L'Oreal Infallible Matomatic is my best liner. It's for my waterline below and above. It's easy to put on and it stays well. Um, for my wing liner, y'all, I don't even know how old this is. I can't remember when I bought it and it is still making wings. And this is the DHC Liquid Eyeliner EX Perfect Pro Makeup. And I will be getting, this is going in the stack of I need another one. I need to get that. And I also need to get some more lipstick. Also, I love Chanel's mascara. This is the waterproof, inimitable mascara. But of all things, y'all, when you are through with it, like this is very dried out, you can still use this prickly little brush and any leftover mascara to kind of brush your eyebrows up like when you buy those little brushes to just get them to stand up because it's waterproof, it sticks. And it does. It makes your, naturally, make your lashes look a little more feathery because you're brushing the, the hairs up and you see the little tip ends of the hairs. It looks much more natural. So even if you used a, a powder to line with or, or, a, or a stick liner for your brow or however you do your brow, 
still when you use a product that brushes the brows up you see the hairs better and it does look a little more natural um, okay so what else is there anything else in here oh <clears throat> mascara wise um, I can't believe I don't have one handy how do I not have one handy I think because it's downstairs in my purse and in my dressing area but I should have a third one the rocket volume express absolute hand down love it as a waterproof mascara also the Chanel inimitable water waterproof mascara but for non waterproof hands down my favorite is Thrive's liquid lash extensions um, it definitely that's what I have on today it definitely builds your lashes even once they've dried you can add it is a comb brush versus a spoolie brush and it just does a great job of picking up on all the lashes especially the lower ones and people tell you don't use your lower lashes y'all I couldn't disagree more when you highlight your lower lashes I think it definitely makes you look younger no it doesn't pull your face down like some people are saying what pulls your face down looks better just to have only the top lashes done can I tell you that washes you out I do not agree at all about doing that so difference of opinion for sure and then as a um, sealer <clears throat> hands down let me put out my little candle here let that be out a second hands down you have to shake it good first but it's flower seal the deal and y'all it just gives especially if you put on matte and you still want a youthful look a moist look but you want a matte finish do you see how shiny and yet it's not sparkly if you look it's not sparkly and this is still wet but even when it dries it just I have a look of moisture even though I have a matte finish so I love it so those are just some of my favorites y'all be sure and go over to my uh, Beth Buchanan Pure Bible. We're doing a walk through the Bible in the year every single day. And I hope y'all enjoyed it. I'm still coming over here too. I love you guys.